guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of season 2 of Bullfitty. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm sorry if I look like a mess. I just finished watching episode 12 of Sinner in season 2, and it made me cry. <laughs> The one time I wish I had a freaking nail cutter. Ouch. I got it off though. A little bit of both. It's just like a freaking hydro pump for Pokemon. Easy. What do you mean? Ah! 
am. But everybody needs to at least find one each. So, divide and conquer. Okay. Okay, who has low defense? Figures. Yeah, I mean, do you really want to walk everywhere? See, the bears are just, you know, giving me feels to Kuma Kuma Bear and just also making me very excited for Kuma Kuma Bear. Ah! Out of all the flowers, why does that flower have to be there? Mm-hmm. I mean, I would just say let's just have Maple do everything for this part. that's supposed to happen oh. that does not sound good Right?
Metal. <gasps> Yay! Pretty. So the question is, how are we supposed to get close to it? No, oh, just watching the scene. <laughs> right? I mean, but this is way dangerous. <laughs> Right there. Okay, so we just come back at night. Maple. I, I think you're going to need a lot more. Oh my god.
everything prepared. Wow. Oh, we know. We know, Maple. Well, Maple already tested something out. <laughs> yeah, gotta be ready for anything. Oh, they're all fine.
then they'll just go down just like that. all stressed <laughs> I mean I would be stressed too cuz maple maple too OP I mean <laughs> I made a damn dungeon in the game I been over here playing cards <laughs> Be OP strong. <laughs> Powerful as fuck monsters coming in and just getting one shot. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. My stomach Okay, but I'm glad that they found two out of the five. So we only need three left. Something tells me by next week we might get the remainder three. And it's just about staying at the top. Making sure we get the last five. And then boom, that's it. Winners. Yes. <laughs> but honestly, this is sweet. I do like the fact that, you know, it was just like, should we stay together? Excuse me, or should we divide and conquer? And I mean, yes, there are some points where you're like, yes, we should stay together collectively as a group, but then sometimes you're like, you know what? Maybe it is better for us to be in two separate groups to divide and conquer because we do more when we're separate. And in the end, you'll win from that. And that's a win. That was the payoff today. I mean, honestly, uh, seriously, all three of the shows today, extreme payoff. Oh my God, just, mmm. 10 out of freaking 10. But yeah, like, the administrators are full so bad. <laughs> the fucking higher ups. <laughs> they over here like, this damn bitch. <laughs> they like, they over here playing cards. They're like, this is not how I wanted this event to go. You know how, okay, no, no, no. The, like, okay. Because it, it was so funny. So, you know, years ago when Final Fantasy XV came out, and I remember in the game, it was, like, absolutely under, like, no, like, no misunderstandings, bullshits, whatever. The, whew, I should not be sleepy. Um, everybody was like, do not go out at night when you're playing 15. And everybody was like, why? And they're like, okay, big behind strong ass monsters are out during the night and so i was watching someone play it i think this was like maybe week one or week two after the game came out right and like so i watched them play the whole thing from beginning to end and so um before they went against the final boss they decided to go back in time and such just to go you know fuck around and such because you know sometimes you want to do that even when before you get to the final boss or even after when there's a lot of other like you know extra things to do in the game before you know you're kind of really completely done in the game. I've done that with, like, literally all three Kingdom Hearts games plus, well, not, you can't really say all three because, like, there's more than three Kingdom Hearts games. So every single Kingdom Hearts game, I have done that. Well, I think the only one that I have not done that is, like, Rechain of Memories because, in my opinion, there really is nothing else to do after Rechain of Memories. There is no secret boss or anything, but, um... For, for most of the majority of all the other games, except Chain, Rechain of Memories and Melody of Memory, which I have not finished yet, even though I know the ending and such, all the other games somewhat have, like, a secret boss. So, going back to FF15, so, they they decided to just wait and they could go, go ahead and go do the secret bosses. So, mind you, this person was, like, level 99 with <laughs> Noctis, <laughs> Ignis Gladio, and Raheem Prompto. 
And so he was like, this person was like, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, go ahead and drive out at night. And people were like, hold up, bro. Like, no, you remember it said you can't go out at night because all these OPSF monsters are out at night no matter where you go. So they are driving, just cruising along. All of a sudden, this monster comes out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, my God, how are you going to get through it? And he got through it within minutes. And I was just like, yeah, that just tells you how OP he is, like, in this game because he's at level 99 and such. But, I, I mean, <laughs> if it was anything else and such, you know, administration would be like, ha, 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 you can't do this. But for this group of administrators, every single time when Maple comes in, they over here like, this girl, this girl, her damn guilt. They're like, what are we supposed to do? To stop this chick. Like, we have done everything. And she's passing with flying colors. Like, <laughs> the fact is that they had to get somebody else at the beginning of the season just to help them the fuck out. And she is still trying her hardest. And it still ain't doing ish. Like, I'm sorry. That is so freaking funny. Like, you have to call the higher ups to your higher ups just to help out. And it still ain't working. Maple. Maple too. Okay. This is why I also wish, because it was so funny, like, okay, so last week, after last week's episode, once again, and it's just, one day this is gonna freaking happen, and I need this to happen so bad. Once again, they decided to do another freaking fan art, um, of Maple versus, um, now for me. And it, it's a really nice, pretty work of art. And it just reminds me of, of course, when both season one of both shows were airing at the time. And we got that. And I was just like, oh my god, like, are you kind of confirming that we're going to get, like, something between these two eventually? And then seeing it again for this season and such, after both shows are, you know, well, one show is on airing and this one is still airing. I still want that. Like, that is a fever dream. They could do that. I mean, yes, like, now for me as an Isekai Quartet, they could put this group in Isekai Quartet, which would be interesting. Uh, I mean, you know, you have freaking, you have the cat, well, no. You have Seiya and, and freaking, um, what's her face? The goddess. I just don't remember her name right now. From Cautious Hero in there. So, I mean, you can have anybody from anywhere be in that series. So just, you know, once again, let it happen. Because who knows when the hell, like, what, season four of Isekai is supposed to come out. So, hopefully, that comes out soon. Because <laughs> I have not seen the movie yet. I, I know, I heard from, like, people it was really good, very interesting and different. But, yes! Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode nine of season two of Bullfitting. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye guys!